Warning, the following ASMR is only aimed for beings who are in a need for comfort and positive energy from a favorite anime character. There won't be any NSFW versions of this ASMR. This is for all ages and is appropriate for all. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, Go right ahead and get all cozy in your blinkies, plop in your headphones, snack on some pockies, sip on some Earl Grey, and enjoy this ASMR. Nothing but celebrating my birthday, working at Earl Grey. Almost done. It's open. Oh, good morning, listener. You're finally up. Now that you're up, Sebastian needs you. Of course, I'm busy right now. Hmm? What do you mean? Today's a special day. No. No. We're not doing this. I don't want to celebrate it, no. Hmm? Because I don't want them to be involved. You know they're going to make a huge mess. I swear, if today's my birthday, it means Lizzie is coming too. You know she can make such a mess when it comes to my birthday. Especially Sebastian. He would, he doesn't know anything what I like trying to embarrass me. Ugh. And I swear, if you did invite Aloise, I would literally fire you. Kick you out. <sighs> now leave me alone. I'm working. That's the most important thing I want to do on my birthday, is get things done. But I would like some more tea, please. And a coffee cake. Yes but not a lot of coffee. What? You want to celebrate my birthday, only the two of us. Hmm. How would you make that work? <laughs> Great. You caught my interest. You're quite lucky, listener. Yes, really. Go on, tell me. How would we make this work if it's only the two of us celebrating my birthday? Pardon? Meet me in your bedroom. I don't like the sound of this. Why does it have to be in your bedroom? Can't it just be in my bedroom? I don't know, I can lock the door. Even though Sebastian can open doors because he's in charge of the keys, but I'll place a do not disturb sign. Thank you very much. I don't want to go into your personal belongings. Of course I would never do that. Alois would be the type of person that would do that. Exactly. Anyways, um, I'll... What time? You know what? How about in one hour? You prep everything in my bedroom. Um, here. These are the keys to my bedroom. When you're done with it, just place it on my dresser. Alright? One hour, and then I'll be done. 
Yeah, you too. <sighs> this better not be a joke. I will legit fire them. <sighs> Ran out of Earl Grey. Great. What a bummer. They better not prank me. It's dark. <sighs> Who put the candles out? Uh, listener! Oh my god. Oh my god, my heart. Uh, why m- uh, You surprised me, of course. Almost gave me an asthma attack. Oh. <laughs> you baked a cake for me. Did Sebastian help you? Don't lie to me, I know you're looking away from me. Exactly. It does look quite cute. Quite tiny. Is this one of your tricks? Of sharing a cake with me? Oh, you don't know that I can tease. Well, now you know. So, did you and Sebastian make it? Oh, you did all the work. So Sebastian wasn't involved in all this. Alright. I like this. What else you got? Hmm. Looking around... It appears there's about two presents. You shouldn't have, listener. Hmm. If there was a third, it has to be you. Shh. I knew you liked me from the start. We just don't have to tell Lizzie. <laughs> sure, I'm still marrying her, but you know I don't want to. I'd rather be with someone who I love truthfully and not arranged. We just need to keep it quiet. What do you say, listener, darling? Oh, you're not my present. Imagine I never said that. Anyways, I guess we should get started on the birthday song. Go ahead, I don't care. Just sing it. <laughs> Got to say, you do have a marvelous voice. All right. You're done. Uh, I'm going old. Oh, shut it. You know I'm just joking. <sighs> oh, there's already a little fork. Well, I can't wait to try it. Mm. Mm. It is chocolate. Oh, fudge. Mmm. What, do you want to try some too? Well, come here. Once again, if the Z ever finds out, I may have to fire you. Then don't speak of it. I have to say, Sebastian's cooking is, of course, better. But for you, it's good. It's, it's very good. It's very chocolatey. Anyways, 
On with the presents. Hmm, they're quite average. All right, let me open this one first. Oh, it's a new coat. Oh, I love the fabric. It's very soft. Oh, thank you, listener. <laughs> Ooh, I can wear this for the winter time. Or when I have meetings, it makes me look like a true boss. <laughs> oh, I thank you, listener. I love it. And what's the other gift? Oh, it's just a box. All right, I'll open it. <gasps> Is this a photograph of my parents? You made it? Is the door fully locked? I'm going to say this once and you better hear it and I will never say it again. Listener, thank you. Thank you so much for these gifts and the little cake. It really means a lot. Well, I got to be going now. I got unfinished business to do. But maybe tonight we can come back here again. Maybe we can finish up the cake. Yeah? And if it's still the two of us, maybe we can have our kissing session. Then it's settled. <laughs> All right, um, I'll see you later. Uh-huh. <laughs> we'll wait and see. And it was like, gotta go, someone's waiting for me. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, happy birthday to me. All right, um, again, Sebastian needs you. I guess he just needs you to clean the holes and help him prep food. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh my god, I'm coming, bastards.